How's it going, guys? My name is Monero, and welcome to part four, episode two of The Walking Dead. Almost forgot what I was doing right then. Um, we are picking up right where part three left off, inspecting this camp. Empty. Okay, what the hell? I don't think I need to look at a chair. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Shopping cart. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Ah, uh, creepy brother. Hey. That's their farm. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What's that? Camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything. Yeah, he seems awfully get a move on. nervous. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. You just watch yourself, Dan. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Oh, I can check out the tent now. And I go. Fair enough, that bunny's covered in blood. What the hell's that? Clementines? Oh, hell? Don't oh shit. shit. Put your guns down. Crazy bitch. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the you fuck crazy are you, bitch? <laughs> Whoa, that laugh. <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. Pocus, pocus. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there. You best believe. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time when I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball into your goddamn Whoa. brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her I from me. I didn't know such thing. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Not yeah, the balls! Right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. 
take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh, oh. fuck. Jesus. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Cause I know they're hiding something. She's about to, you know, dob him in. It's a clean shot though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right mm. there. Not Still, doing anything to make me what a waste. Trust you. So creep. That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll yeah. get the mess. Brains. Brains. Come on. Why does she have a Clementine's hat? I don't like where this is going. There's just this whole vibe that is creepy as. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. Yeah. Yeah, he did. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why ah, don't you? Not these two again. Princess. I'll do it myself. Can't we all just get along? What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Cow whisperer. Little Clem. Hey, don't shut the door on me. Looks like rain. Let's see what they were arguing about. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. Nah, shit. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we He's at least know what to crazy. expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Bend up your bad mouth and Kenny. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. Didn't ask you, Larry. 
Keep quiet. Well, if we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? I think your okay. dad's been hitting on me. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. I and make me. excuses for all him. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just gets No, leave. Me. Follow your gun. I mean, these backwoods people always get me. Hey, that's a bit offensive. If you ask me, we should just get <coughs> our dinner and leave. Sorry. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm going to go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out our It's got this weird asses. deliverance feel. Wait for the banjo jewel to go down. Ding 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 ding. You got a pretty mouth, boy. <laughs> It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. I would. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, ever see any I crazy will. old witches hey, flying Lee, about on their birds? Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now and we I'm got not talking about your cake. mother. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, when do you think uh we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Back here. Nothing. Don't know what I expected. Hey, is that blood? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something. 
behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this floor. Calm down, Kenny. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point These is guys know for sure. Fucked up. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Well, I wouldn't Hang on, have think this through. Zombies it's back there, because that's what Herschel did. Then what so. if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Just because I'm black? Say that? Well, you're, you know, you urban? racist oh, bastard. You are not saying what I've No, you didn't. Thing. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. <laughs> Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. Sound like a you threat. Know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Up to no good. Alright guys, well I'm going to end this episode here. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more content. There should be some annotations on the screen if you haven't seen the previous episode, or you want to go to watch the next episode, click those links. And I'll see you next time. Bye!